Hey everyone, welcome back to Todos Santos, episode 2. Uh, so it's been about a month since the last upload, and don't worry, I'm not like abandoning this or anything. I've just been super busy uh, outside of the game. You know, unfortunately it's not my main focus right now. Um, but I'm going to make time for it, and I'm going to try to upload these videos weekly from now on. Uh, I still have a big backlog of footage, so I just need to edit all that together. Uh, and do the voiceover and stuff, so that shouldn't be as much of a problem now that I have a bit more time. Uh, so you can see here we're starting on the road system for the Old Town area. Uh, and I imagine that this, these roads have been kind of developed uh, in various ways over about 400 years, four to 500 years. Uh, you know, of course they would have originally been footpaths and then, um, I don't know the exact evolution of them, but I imagine that it's been resurfaced quite a bit in a way that is meant to maintain the kind of the original quality of the streets that they would have had, uh, you know, when the, the Spanish um, colonials lived there. Uh, and that's kind of a theme I try to maintain throughout this whole build is that a lot of the stuff here isn't originally from, you know, the 15, 1600s, probably 1600s, but it's the you know the policies of the government of the city government allow development as long as it maintains a a certain style that is consistent with uh, that sort of architecture, and that's something I'm drawing from the actual uh, San Juan Viejo, which is what I'm basing this off of in Puerto Rico, um, and that's kind of how they've gone about developing it. Is it it used to be basically a red light district I think in like the 1940s or 1950s. Um, and then within the last, I think the 70s maybe, they started repurposing it and trying to redevelop it into a tourist destination uh, to see, you know, all these beautiful buildings, the ones that actually are uh, originally from the colonial era. Um, and so they created a development plan um, that's kind of consistent with that, but allows for growth and for expansion and for handling the, you know, the many tourists and locals that use this area now. Uh, and so I'm, when I visited there, it, it seemed very successful, and it was a really, really nice location. Just one of the coolest places I've ever been. It really, I've never actually been to Europe, but it, it felt like being in a European city as far as I could tell uh, in terms of the, you know, the dense buildings everywhere. And the, the road system is a grid, which I think is interesting. If you look at Old San Juan on Google Earth or Google Maps, it's actually a fairly consistent grid. Uh, there are some breaks in it, but um, looking back on it, I think I wish I had broken up the grid more in this build. Um, but in a coming episode, maybe a few episodes from now, I do have some plans to come back and change a couple things and make it a little more uh, varied and interesting. But that'll be later. For now, we're sticking with this. Um, and you saw me before messing around with the, the different surfaces for the road. Um... <laughs> I probably spent five or six hours trying to figure out what looked good because they're, it's hard to find decals on the workshop that are the width of this network extensions small road or tiny road. I don't know what they call it. Um, so I tried different things. I tried a decal, a couple decals, and then I tried the procedural objects mod, uh, which I hadn't used before. Uh, and it's a really cool mod, but it just I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted. Um, within the limitations of the tool. So I eventually just went back to this uh, kind of tile, cobblestone, brick, paving decal, something like that, uh, which I think looks really nice and it, it wasn't too easy or too hard to do. So now you can see I'm placing some of these buildings from the Lugo collection, I think, by Armesto, which are just absolutely perfect for this build because they have kind of that Mediterranean look and they also have the, I'm not sure what the, the technical term is, but you can change the color with the painter mod. It's not just changing the whole, you know, the values of the whole building. It's just certain areas where you can change the colors. It's so perfect because in Old San Juan, the buildings are really colorful and just really fun to look at. And so I wanted to replicate that. So these buildings were indispensable. Um, I also used some buildings, I think, from the Osara series because uh, they have that same color change functionality and they have a pretty a pretty basic look that I really like and I think uh, fits pretty nicely in here. Uh, and I do come back later, I find these 
um, Sevilla buildings on the workshop, which I hadn't I hadn't uh, known about at the time of building this. And I add some of those. They're really nice. They're you know from Sevilla in Spain, uh, and they're they're colorful and they pretty much look exactly like a lot of the buildings in Old San Juan. Uh, so I come back and add some of those later, but that's not in the time lapse. Uh, so what I'm doing now is kind of putting together this uh, template block of these kind of these basic cookie cut cutter buildings that I'm using. Uh, and you'll see in a little bit, I copy and paste this whole block with Move It, and I um, paste it a few times all over to give uh, some density to the blocks and really just to kind of speed it up. Don't worry, we will get quite a bit of detailing later. We're gonna actually going to have maybe the second half of this episode is going to be detailing. And then we're going to have a whole other episode of just detailing uh, this whole area. And that's pretty cool. Because I had originally recorded this thinking it was going to be one episode for the Old Town. And so I cut everything together and it was about 70 minutes long. <laughs> so I decided instead of cutting out, you know, 50 minutes worth of footage, I'd split it into two and cut out maybe 20 minutes worth of footage. So you get to see a lot of the stuff I do, but not everything. Uh, but I think the cinematics are pretty cool. So I think you'll like that. So now I'm changing some more colors on the buildings. Uh, and I do actually, on every building that um, has that functionality, I do that. So they're not all hand placed, but they're all hand colored. And now we're starting some basic detailing on these buildings over on the kind of the entrance road into the town. Uh, and I wanted those to be a little bit more modern, maybe like they, in that development bill or whatever, they would allow more modern buildings to be built kind of on the entrance part to attract people in or something like that. Uh, so some of the buildings on there are a bit more modern or maybe just a, a bit uh, more nicely maintained. Uh, and then we're coming back into the core of the, of the old town now and we're building this garden, which is going to, or this garden right next to the church there. And there are going to be a lot of things like this in the Old Town to uh, fill out the gaps in the middle of the blocks. Because uh, I didn't want to, I do uh, fill a lot of it with trees, but I didn't want to overdo that. I didn't want to make a forest. Um, so I do a lot of small things like this. Some of them show up in the time lapse in the cinematics. Some of them don't. Some of them will probably never be seen. <laughs> but um, they were pretty fun. I mean, that kind of stuff is just really fun to make. Imagining, like here, you have the door on the bottom right and on the top left of this little courtyard. So I just imagine that people would just come and go and use this as a, a place to walk on their daily commute, that kind of thing. I love trying to make stories like that. It's a lot of fun to do. And now I have trouble with the bus lines. Uh, so we're taking a break to make a tour bus that's gonna go around the old town and you know, it's not actually a tour bus, it just serves people who want to get around, but it looks pretty cool. Um, but something about this roundabout does not want me to put a bus stop there. So I try it a few times, I sort of get it to work here, and it's just not really looking right. And of course I get back here and it won't, it won't let me do it, so I delete that. And I decided to just go to that roundabout. I imagine that the bus would take people around, uh, stop at all the, you know, historical sites in the town. And then it would stop off at that roundabout and people could walk up the pathway there to the castle. Even though ideally I'd like the bus to go right up to the castle, but I think that's okay. So there's the tour bus. And you can see it coming out of the bus depot now. And I wanted, I didn't think white fit very well. So I think that red looks really nice. I put a few of these there. It's actually a pretty popular mode of transportation. 
Um, so that's kind of cool, getting some transit in. And we're going to have a lot of transit in this city. That's something I am just dying to do. I didn't get to do that in Northrum Creek. Um, and I think mass transit is just something that I love in this game. I love creating lines and creating infrastructure and uh, making, you know, train tracks and roads and stuff fit into kind of existing uh, systems. Like, I just love... Um, the way train tracks fit in a city and stuff like that. I think that's a ton of fun to look at and a ton of fun to build, so we're going to get a bunch of that in future episodes. But for now, we're just going to have that one bus line. Uh, so now I'm building this parking lot here. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about parking. Um, I think that I don't like the idea of parking, of tons of parking in a place like this. But at the same time, with these, with the modernization that the, you know, the city council or whatever would want to have in a place like this, there would probably be some sort of regulation in terms of a minimum amount of parking. And that's something they'd have to meet, you know, if they couldn't fulfill that with just street parking, they'd need that, especially for some of the more uh, popular attractions or services like, uh, I think this one is actually, so it works as a prison, I think, <laughs> but there's another one over next to it that's like a hospital and so there's a parking lot there um, and I think this turned out pretty cool using the panel decals to simulate the uh, the concrete and having a concrete parking lot as opposed to paved asphalt which I just think it's it's fun to throw some variety in there and it's more fun to build this kind of thing than to do like the parking lot roads which are an amazing tool but I think it's good to have some variation and so that's what I was doing there.
And now this is kind of like the centerpiece of this episode, at least, of the Old Town, which is this church, and uh, we're going to build a graveyard in just a second. And I really wanted to fill in every nook and cranny in this part, because I just think it's... I like the idea of having this big central building in the middle of a block, and you kind of have to... To get through the block, you kind of have to walk around it, uh, and it just... I think it adds a presence and it also actually adds to the skyline which is nice because it has this uh you know it has the top of the the church poking up from uh from over all the other buildings which i think is super cool and this is definitely not the only church in the area there are tons which i think uh fits nicely with you know the heritage of this kind of area in the real old san juan there are tons of those kinds of places and it's just i think it has like one of the the oldest churches in the Americas maybe or maybe in North America and I mean that kind of stuff is just so cool so yeah we're doing that but there are there is going to be in the next episode the big cathedral that you saw me place before uh, we're going to detail that um and it's going to be pretty pretty heavily detailed so that's going to be lots of fun and it's just stuff like that I just I couldn't fit it all into one episode so I didn't want to stretch this out into more than it had to be but I just think it, it's really going to take two episodes to do all this and then actually we're going to come back we're going to take a little break from this area and we're going to go do some other stuff and then we're going to come back and do some more kind of on like the more uh, developed side of town down by the, the castle wall over there. Uh, we're going to do that later. I think that's going to be lots of fun. There's going to be there's a big hill there. So that's going to be really cool uh, to kind of fill in and, and kind of battle the terrain. Um, so I'm working on this. I imagine it's like uh, there's one part that's maybe a public graveyard where you can kind of go and just hang out if you're into that I guess um, and then there's uh, a private area which maybe is a little more or was a little bit more expensive to get into you know maybe a couple hundred years ago a few hundred years ago um, but now it's you know reserved for any descendants of these people that are buried there so I really wanted to pack these gravestones in because I imagine that when this was being used it wasn't seen as a as a you know, a, a historical place. This was just a functional place for people. So I wanted it to kind of reflect that, that there are, you know, the, there's the wealthier area and the poorer area. And in the poor area, they have tiny gravestones and they really try to pack them in as much as they can. Um, and as aesthetically interesting as that is now, it's kind of a, an unfortunate relic of the past, I think. Uh, kind of like with the churches, there's another big graveyard we'll be building maybe uh, episode after next. So yeah, that's the end of part one of the old town. Um, it's all built and we just need to detail the rest of it now. So I'll leave you with these cinematics uh, and I'll see you in about a week, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.